Hey, I'm back with another video about this guitar. Now, if you've been watching the videos, the series, thank you very much for watching, and you're probably sick of hearing what I'm about to say, but for anyone who's new, I kind of have to explain what's going on. I put this guitar together, it's a parts caster, and what I did was I documented pretty much every step along the way, and I put together a playlist of about 30 videos describing sort of each and every step. Okay, so this video is going to be part two in how I replace the tuner buttons on my Strat. I highly encourage you to watch the first video, which you can see by clicking right here. So long story short, I had the Cluson or Goto style white tuning buttons on my Strat. These are the vintage style tuners. So instead of white, I wanted to do pearl. The problem I ran into was that I could not find pearl buttons that were identical to the Cluson style. And what I mean is that the Cluson style are press-on or press fit buttons. All the pearl ones I found had a screw on one end. With these style buttons, you press them onto the shaft, but really they're held in place by a screw that goes on the end of the button. I'm gonna show you some pictures real quick that are typical of the buttons I found on say eBay and other sites like that. What I actually ended up doing was buying a complete set of tuners from iGuitar Music. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. I'm gonna put the correct description right here but I bought them from a Chinese site and they came in a complete set. I could not tell from the description or the pictures what the actual buttons look like, but the idea was to take those buttons and swap them. Or I wasn't going to swap them. I was going to take them off the cheaper tuners and put them on my Goto tuners. But unfortunately, when I got the tuners, they were not the type of buttons I was hoping they were. They were the type that receives a screw on the end. So I had to get creative. In other words, I wanted to fill the hole and so it would look like more of a typical style Cluson type button or butter bean button. So the solution I found, I went to Ace Hardware. So hopefully if you're at least in the United States, you've got an Ace Hardware around the corner in your neighborhood. And I had no idea what I was looking for. I was just looking for something that I could sort of plug the hole up with. So what I found, and I'm gonna show you pictures of it, these are push-in fasteners and if you go down the hardware rows in your Ace Hardware store, you'll see these bins of sort of oddball, you know, nuts and bolts and fasteners and just all sort of knickknacks that they just categorize in these bins. So these are actually push-in fasteners, at least that's what they're calling them. And I opened these things up, I saw them, and I was like, man, I think these are going to work. So I ended up buying the smallest ones. They're 3 sixteenths of an inch head diameter is what they say. They're 27 cents each, and the part number I'm going to show you here, at least this is the part number that I wrote down when I took them to the counter, is 405391-A. And again, these were the smallest ones in the bin. And I just took kind of a chance, and I grabbed some of these, and I was hoping they are going to work. I actually just grabbed six. I don't even think I grabbed, like, an extra one. But they're so cheap, I just grabbed them, and I brought them home. And in fact, they fit perfectly in the tuner button that I have bought from iGuitar. So it's a pretty simple process. I just put some super glue in the end of the button and I put them in there, plugged it, and that was that. Super easy. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. It's not rocket science and I hope you enjoy it. This is one of the small big wins that I had with this project. And what I mean by that is I had a couple of things that I stumbled upon that worked just really well, surprisingly well, and I documented them of course. But these weren't like necessary to the sound or tone of the guitar, not even crucial necessarily to the look of the guitar, but just some little things that, that worked out in, in my favor of what I wanted, and I wanted to share them with you. And these plugs for the tuner buttons are one of them. Now, I understand this is a very niche thing. Not everybody is going to want these tuner buttons. But if you're trying to do something even remotely similar with your tuner buttons, maybe this will give you some inspiration or give you an idea at least of something that you could try. Now one of the other small big wins is, and I'm going to show you this in a video coming up in the series, is I actually was successful in dyeing the fret marker dots on the neck to look more like an aged clay or look more like a clay dot. I'll, go, I'll explain all this in the video that I do, but the dots that I got from MusicCraft on my neck were synthetic clay. And I didn't think at the time to actually invest the extra money to get aged clay dots. I just thought clay and that's what I selected. And when I got it and I finished the guitar, something looked a little off. And looking at other pictures of older guitars and some of the custom shop relic jobs that they do, the, the fret markers stood out. So I wanted to make those look more authentic, more like clay. 
and just maybe look, make them look darker than they actually were. So I figured out a solution. The video is coming up soon for that, so please stay tuned. And if you're interested, watch all the other videos in this playlist about the guitar. I certainly appreciate it. Okay, let me show you this really quickly. I've gotten, I'm gonna use my ruler here as a pointer. I've gotten these three on the left here with the little plugs in there already. So if you look closely, you can see them. And then the other ones obviously still don't have anything. They've got the hole in there. So I'm gonna go in and show you how I'm putting these plugs in. And then I'm putting a little bit of super glue on the, the bottom part where the uh, shaft actually goes into the, the button, which I think is typical of the manufacturers. They put some, some type of glue on there just as an extra added um, assurance that they won't come off. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm just super gluing the little plugs on there as well. And then we should be good to go, and I think I'll have the tuners that I really wanted finally. Okay, so this is the final piece of the puzzle. I am going to glue these little pieces uh, into the buttons, the top where the screws, the original screws went. You can just see how tiny these little things are, and I cannot believe how beautifully they fit into these tuner buttons. I'm just gonna see, drop that in like that. I mean, check that out. It's like, you cannot ask for a better fit. Uh, and some, if you look at it, the side profile like that, um, depending on the button, depending on, you know, just a few little things, you can sort of tell that there's like some uh, difference in smoothness, if you will. But, you know, it's just, and these aren't pearl. I don't think you would consider these a, a pearl uh, finish or, you know, material. They're just kind of plastic or translucent plastic they're not really clear but they're not white either so i guess i would call it a matte clear if i had to describe it but it just really goes well with these tuner buttons and i cannot be happier with uh how they're turning out now they've come together so you know if you really look at it you can tell but otherwise it's just you would never know so anyway i'm gonna glue those in here hopefully i don't lose them but I just got some good old uh, super glue. Of course, you don't want to get this stuff on your skin or like in your eyes or anything like that. Obviously, it is not good for that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of uh, glue on the top of this. And then I'm going to put the little button uh, or the, uh, the little plug in. So, right. I don't necessarily want to push down on it with my hand because if I, uh, if anything kind of seeps out, then it's going to stick to my skin. And I've had that happen before. Oh, just really quickly, if you happen to get super glue on something that you don't want it on, maybe on the tuner button or this really applies to anything. If you just take some acetone, which is essentially like a nail polish remover, it'll come right off, uh, or it should. So that's just a tip in, in case you uh, get it somewhere you don't want it. I don't have it figured out, but I take